Um. Hello, hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, he, uh, let's go. Let's oh, go. right, Archer. I forgot about Archer. So we got. Yeah, we got Archer uh, coming through from Zavon, which. Uh, Zavon and I have uh, decided with our collective consciousness that uh, Archer is it's a generally good character that we uh, kind of try to want to go against uh, Mag going forward. Um, just because, you know, Para is. Uh, like, Para can do it, but. It's not particularly easy, and then uh, Bomb gets kind of smashed, so uh, yeah. she's trying to step away from that matchup a little bit uh, going forward. And I was just that's... talking about how Apple's probably the best move in the game. Oh, Apple's definitely the best move in the game. Yeah, like, only Beam Blast even comes close, in my opinion. Um, and then, like, some things come close that, like, aren't actual moves, like, like Water 6, but, like, yeah. Um, even if we count Water 6, I still don't think that... It's as good Holy as Apple, Ultra Sword. Like, Apple's broken. Yeah, he actually pulls out the Ultra Sword. Um, doesn't end up working. Um, or ends up working because Zyvon kind of... I think, I'm pretty sure that, was, uh, air dodge, that air dodge was like kind of a fat finger there. But we all made mistakes. <laughs> pretty even right now. Um, good teleport behind into Dash Yeah, deck. charge up the spikes all the way. That's tough because now he can detonate. Okay, that she was actually gets so out. good. Amazing uh, double jump out of the pressure there. That's good stuff. I definitely got my shield broken. Oh, but, me too. Yeah, dash tag into the apple, into the uh, the spikes. Nice corner combo, bread and butter. Um, glad that uh, glad that P47s finally started doing that because that's that's a very good, yeah. very good uh, mag combo for sure. I want to I want to note that that was insane defensive play as well as insane offensive play from uh, P47. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, that was a lot of good avoiding, and as well as a lot of, like, very solid advantage state. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's game one. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then, like, that combo that he ended up finishing the game off with is also really good, because uh, after the dash attack into the apple and the spikes, uh, if they don't have enough health, or if they have too much health to die from that, then you can actually, uh, like, do a small dash back, and then full hop dash attack back into the corner, and then throw another apple, and you can, like, start more stuff, so... Max, I think uh, Max pressure is pretty solid for sure. Definitely. My prediction is, I think I think uh, Zyvon needs just a game or maybe two to just analyze P47's patterns and kind of like take advantage of the things that uh, he's doing. Because sure. a, a lot of the time you need to like be reading Mag and where he's going, and Archer just has the brain. <laughs> that, that's the thing though is that uh, Archer doesn't really have to make any reads on Mag. Um, like that's the whole reason that this matchup is so good for Archer, in my and a lot of other people players' opinions. Um, like, if Magalore teleports, um, like, away from Archer, first off, advantage Archer, because, uh, being at full screen is almost always better for him. Very few exceptions. And then, if you want to punish it, like, if you're charging an arrow, you just turn that joint around, and, uh, or, like, you know, quick turn around Hitman or something like that, and, uh, it's no big deal. Um, and we're seeing that very, uh, come out very well right now from Zybon in this game number two. Um, like... Nice! Um, Anytime Mag wants to move, Archer can always do something about it. Uh, basically on reaction, with very few exceptions. Like, dash attack loses to Archer's own dash attack. It also can just get shot um, with a charge 5B. Um, teleport, you know, you can react and turn around charge 5B and hit it. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If dash attack ends up getting angled up, you can charge 8B and hit that if they try to go over you. Um, or if P47 count... Um, Ooh, that's not very good for Zyvon. Ready combo there, and that's actually going to take him the game. Okay, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, like Mag Apple is such an insane momentum swing a lot of the time. Like, yep, very good, very good. Like a lot of the time, you can't like it can just be sitting there and you don't see it coming, and the Mag is going to know kind of when it's going to go off, yeah. and you just can be grabbed. You're forced to. I mean, you, you, nothing, you're not really forced to do anything, you just... Uh... You're, you're forced not to do something, and that's, that's more of the problem, because anytime you're in a situation where you feel like you're forced into inaction against Mag, that gives him an opportunity to either move closer to you, or to uh, charge his 5B, both of which are like generally undesirable situations to be in, because the mid-charge 5B is transcendent, and then the full-charge 5B um, just, like has trample or something and goes through everything and goes to the entire side uh, other side of the stage does like 35 damage so definitely do not want to be in that situation um 
Yeah, here, just, uh, Zymon's having kind of a hard time getting down. Nice block there out of the uh, pressure with the apple. Just kind of having kind of a hard time getting down against these dash attacks and these spikes. Um, Archer, you know, kind of a character that is notorious for their bad landing options uh, in the event that they don't have their dash, which um, isn't super uncommon in this matchup. Dash tag into the apple going to take a, a big chunk as well. Uh, this is looking really rough, for sure, on uh, Zymon's end here. The apple was actually still moving there, so she got hit by it while she was in the dash attack. <laughs> That's really funny. And teleports behind him. That's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Teleports, uh... I'm gonna get teleported behind and uh, hit with the nothing personal kid. So P47 gonna go up 3-0 in, uh... This one or semi set as we go to the parasol. Yeah, I expected if Archer didn't work out for a couple games, the parasol would end up coming out. Um, didn't know whether it would take two games or three, but that's where we're at right now. <clears throat> um, this matchup generally seen as not as favorable uh, for Archer as uh, or for for Para as it is for Archer. Uh, Ninja thinks that Archer actually wins. I agree that uh, Archer wins the mag matchup. Para generally seen as like uh, losing, but you can do it. Um, you, know, you have to be a better player than the mag, but definitely not something that's impossible. So yeah, one out. thing you haven't seen yet uh, in this matchup is Para really likes to keep a corner like pressure going. Yep. And then mag just kind of teleports away. Yeah, Magalore can teleport away. It's not as easy as um, like water dashing out of it, for example, though. Just because um, a lot of para pressure will end up leaving you on the ground unless you SDI up. So for that reason, uh, Megalore can't like have immediate access to his teleport. Um, but yeah, I think Zy I think Zyron's doing a very good job this game. Um, yeah, Zyron's doing very well at the moment. Just um, twice, especially he got hit by game. the apples, which was kind of like reactively hit. It's yeah, it's just such a big momentum swing. Like you can't afford to be making those mistakes. In this matchup, amazing command grab back into the corner to the two B, and ah, tries that to chase him up is there. That hitbox so de deceitful. Yeah, tries to chase him up there because uh, normally teleporting into the air is kind of a bad situation for Mag, but there was nothing Zyvon could do in that situation just because uh, the apple was between her and the Mag. So that was rough. Um, yep. Apple into the dash good tag. Apple. Good double jump out though. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. Zion's doing a very good job of like constantly holding forward towards P47 good dive to kick. limit the advantage he can kind of get from uh, you know, teleporting away and then setting up these traps. That's going to reach to the ceiling. Yeah, get out of there. Um, factory tour, very good stage. Ah, oh, she read the teleport, yep. but not enough. Ah, that sucks. She had the read on the teleport. She was just a little do bit you, too slow. Do you know if Mag is actionable like directly out of the teleport? I mean, yeah, it doesn't have very much lag. Um, like, I want to. I kind of want to figure that out. Whether like how much lag Mag has out of that. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something we could ask for Ruby about in the near future. Um, actually, a question that I'm surprised no one's at, no one's uh, asked her yet because that's like because I feel like Mag has always been able to just start up dash attack right out of it. Yeah. So teleport to dash attack has like a very small gap, um, you know, where you can punish it if they land on the ground. And then if they land in the air, or if they end up in the air, they can basically like start double jumping, you know, immediately out of the teleport. Um, so, yeah. Megalore is a good character, man. <laughs> like, Megalore is insanely good. This the fact kind of that busted. he loses a matchup is still pretty crazy to me. Yeah, loses one, might lose more, you know, because definitely loses to Gui. Like, that's not debatable. And then, um, you know, I think he also loses to Archer. Um, Ninja thinks he might also lose to Ninja, which I have no personal experience with, but I can see that. We um, need to get Matt to start playing the game again. That's all I'm saying. He would be the best Ninja. But um, I think he'd really like it. But you gave you gave him the uh, gave him the water experience like week one. He was like the oh, chamber, the parabolic water chamber. <laughs> yeah, but Stevan switching off to the bomb in this game number five, down 4-0, has to uh, actually win five in a row here in order to move on to winners finals. Um, Press the detonate. Okay, good stuff. Bomb. Nice. She bomb. Said, yeah, bomb. She said is a matchup that she doesn't really want to play uh, with Mag too much, just because, um, 
like Apple is better than the character of Bomb. Like it's everything Bomb does, except it's better in almost every way. But um, I feel like as really Zyvon plays worse matchups, she becomes better. <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, you're correct. Um, this one definitely. Oh, that was a good snipe, uh, sniper with the Sagittarius though. That was pretty solid. Um, also, she's doing a very good job. I just want to point out of rolling through all these. Oh, that's tough. You're in double jump state. Okay. Uh, she's doing a very good job of rolling through all these uh, like varying levels of charge 5B. Um, just because like that's I feel like the better option for counterplay against mm. that as opposed to power shielding, but that's very rarely utilized against Magalore from what I've seen.